Hi guys, welcome to or back to Impact Media TV. So in a shocking turn of events, season 17 of Married at First Sight, which is set in Colorado, has left viewers stunned after Michael Sheakalis found himself stranded at the altar, after his bride uttered the devastating words, I can't do this. The highly anticipated wedding had viewers on the edge of their seats, eagerly awaiting the union which was to be filled with hopes and dreams. However, as the bride walked down the aisle, emotions ran high, and it became evident that something was amiss. The groom stood patiently and nervously waiting for his bride as one of his friends whispered, calm your nerves, the tension in the room was palpable as the bride made her entrance. With Michael now grinning from ear to ear once he got a glimpse of his future bride, things then took a dramatic turn for the worst as she took one look at her groom and hesitated in a slightly awkward long pause before delivering the heartbreaking blow. I'm sorry I don't think I can do this, I don't want to marry a stranger, to which Michael replied, oh. He followed this up with some kind words which went like this. Look it's a lot and you know better than most that this is a tough journey so I can understand your doubts, and all the worries that come with it, and even though we're just meeting, I do wish the best for you. If this is a journey you don't want to take, I respect that. A house ad, one of the most heart-wrenching scenes we've witnessed on MAFS so far. Can you imagine how much the poor guy has been through just to get to this stage in the process? Completely unfair that the bride's face was not aired and little is known about who she is, which has left all of the tension Michael. There's also been a lot of confusion around a crown Michael was wearing and sword he was carrying at the altar. Some have said this must be what put the bride off, while others have claimed that she was the one who gifted them to him. But hey who knows? Despite his experience of being left at the altar, Michael has a lot of potential. Once holding the esteemed role of head of SMS Digital Experience at Lumen Technologies, he expressed that his participation in the Lifetime show was a unique and irreplaceable chance to meet someone special, emphasizing his sincere desire to no longer be without a loving companion and a life partner. Upon the completion of their surprise nuptials, the remaining four couples gather in unity, eagerly awaiting their upcoming exotic honeymoons. A sad Michael makes his entrance and a fellow cast member inquires, where's your spouse? Well, we'll delve into that, Michael responds, taking a seat before divulging the truth to the other couples, who remain oblivious to the fact that his wedding ceremony did not unfold as anticipated. Michael then delivers the distressing news like this. Picture this. The wedding day arrives. She gracefully descends, takes a pause, and then declares that she has no intention of marrying a stranger. He explains leaving the other couples in a stunned state. Curious about why the runaway bride chose to disclose her reservation only upon reaching the altar, the other couples inquire if Michael and his bride had an opportunity to converse. No, she left a note, and that was the only form of communication between us, Michael shares. When asked if he desires a conversation with his bride, Michael admits his interest, yet does not feel entitled to it. Furthermore, he adds to me, the thought of this relationship failing is my personal definition of ultimate disappointment. Regardless of my level of control or influence over the situation, I still perceive it as such. As the other couple sympathize with Michael, remarking that he was not given a fair chance, he reflects, at times, that feels even more disheartening. Amidst the support of the other couples, Michael remains open to the possibility of finding love once more, ending the conversation on a lighter note. The group extends an invitation for Michael to join them on their honeymoon escapades. Fans of the show have taken to social media some to vent their frustration and others in support of the bride with one saying, she didn't have to put on that dress and walk all the way down the aisle just to say that. And another said, he's a bit too flamboyant, major red flag. In reference to Michael wearing a crown at the beginning of the ceremony, others agreed with the bride's decision, writing, I'm glad she was true to herself. Impact Media DV, we have no words. Can't imagine the humiliation this poor guy must be feeling. The saddest part was seeing him walk around the empty hall where his reception was supposed to be and you just think why. But hey cold feet is a thing I guess. But could have been done differently. Not sure why they chose to air this. The enigma of the individual responsible for abandoning Michael at the altar still remains unrevealed. What's your thoughts on how the bride handled this situation? Have your say in the comments section below. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to stay connected. Take care all.